Welcome back everybody. I'm going to make Hawaiian fried rice tonight. So I have about a tablespoon of oil in here and I'm going to start browning the um, Spam. So it's a one can of Spam that's been diced. And since this takes a little bit, I'm going to start this process before I actually start the live feed. So I already have my Spam cooking on the stove top. Um, it took uh, about five minutes to get to here. And what I did is I took one whole can of Spam. Um, I'm sure everyone knows what Spam is. If you don't, it's just processed ham. Um, it's very popular on the islands because back um, during the war, the only thing they had to eat meat wise was canned meat. So this got very popular in Hawaii. So this is starting to brown. I put uh, about a tablespoon of olive oil in with it because um, when it's cold, um, the fat doesn't render for a little bit and it'll start sticking. So you need to do, you do need to put a little bit of oil in with it. So that's all done. So the next thing I'm gonna add in is my onion. I'm using one medium onion chopped and basically I want it to start to soften. So I'm gonna get that all mixed up in here and you can hear it sizzling. Once my onion starts to soften, then I'm going to add some garlic. I have about two to three cloves of chopped garlic. I have more here because I like garlic. You know if you watched any of my other cooking videos, um, I usually add more than what I actually recommend in the recipe. If you like garlic, that's cool. Put more garlic in. So now I can see this is starting to sweat, so I'm not quite there yet. If you don't like onions, um, you could chop these super, super fine and they'll kind of meld into the recipe or omit them all together. But everything that was cooking down on the bottom of the pan is starting to release now because the onions are releasing all of their fluids as they start to soften. Okay, now I see that they're kind of softened. So now I'm going to add in my garlic. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that gets mixed in well. And then I have some ground ginger here that I'm going to kind of just sprinkle over. You can use fresh ginger too. You can um, go ahead and just grate it. Um, I would get it um, grated in a little bowl so that you can just add it in. And basically you want to cook this just until you can really smell the garlic because you don't want to burn it. So the next thing I'm going to add in is some bacon. So I have four to five strips of bacon that I kind of pre-cooked halfway. So I um, pre-cooked bacon about halfway. Um, you can either buy the pre-cooked bacon or you can do your own. This little um, piece of equipment, kitchen equipment, um, we use to pre-cook the bacon in the microwave. It's made from stone and it's a uh, Pampered Chef. You can get it from me. Just Give me a ring or look on our website and you can definitely find one. I can help you find it if it's something you're interested in. You don't want to start with raw bacon because it takes too long to cook down. But if it's um, about halfway cooked, then it'll finish cooking in this process. Um, I know you can go to the store and get pre-cooked bacon. That works fine with this too. Um, we pre-cooked our bacon in a um, stone cooker that right in the microwave. And I will have a link to that uh, stone cooker on the website if that's something you're interested in getting. It's really nice. It, um, it cooks really quickly and it makes for very easy cleanup. And you don't have splattered grease or ruin your pans or anything like that. All right, so this has gotten nice and incorporated in here. So the next thing I'm gonna put in is about a half a bag of frozen peas and carrots. And that's a 16 ounce bag. And the, they're frozen, so you kind of have to make, let this um, meld in here and come together until those are warm. It doesn't take very long because everything in the pot right now is warm. So some recipes recommend that you cook the Spam by itself. Some of them will um, say that you can do the onions by themselves. I kind of like the one pot method. Um, the only thing that I cooked separately um, this time was the eggs. Um, I felt it was going to take too long for the demo. 
Um, but you could put, you could cook it right in the pan after you get everything mixed together if you want. Um, I know some people that have done fried rice know exactly what I'm talking about. So with the eggs, it's three beaten eggs. Hi, Jeanette. Thanks for stopping by. Um, three beaten eggs. I put a little bit of soy sauce in it, like maybe two teaspoons, one, two teaspoons. And um, some recipes recommend you put a little bit of sugar in, like a teaspoon of sugar. Um, and with the eggs. I know it sounds funny, but it kind of balances out the salt that you're putting in from the soy sauce. The sugar will balance it out. So I already pre-cooked those, and I'll be folding those in in a little bit here. So I don't think they're quite cooked yet, and I don't want to go too fat or too fast on it because then they'll be cold when I bite into them. Nobody wants uh, frozen carrots. I think it's almost there. The other things that we're going to put in um, after I put the rice in. I'm going to add some sesame oil. You can get this at any grocery store. Just remember that once you open it, it should go in the refrigerator. Um, it'll break down too fast if you leave it out at room temperature. And then um, after that, I'll be putting in some rice vinegar. Um, so rice vinegar, if you haven't had rice vinegar, it has a very mild taste to it, but it's still um, a light vinegar. And then we're going to put in um, some soy sauce, too, and that'll add some salt. I did say at the end of the recipe that you can add salt too. Um, if you're using low sodium everything, you might find that you need to add salt, but just remember that the spam and the bacon in there are very salty, so you'll probably be fine. The other thing you can add um, at the end, which I'm not going to because you guys all know that I don't like spicy, um, you can add on sriracha or tapatillo sauce, um, and you can adjust your spiciness in this. So I think everything is nice and warm now. I've pre-cooked my rice. I have about four cups here. You could use a little bit more if you want. Um, I do recommend that you cook it beforehand and it's cool. And you can actually leave the top off of it um, for a couple hours. You want it to dry out a little bit and you don't want it warm. This actually works better if it's pre-cooked. So I broke it up a little bit, but I'm gonna make sure it gets cooked or broke up a little bit more here. Um, Day old rice is probably the best. And I am going to rinse my hand off real quick. Okay. So very gently, I'm just gonna start mixing this in. Now the bacon has rendered some fat out. So has the spam. So this shouldn't really stick. Now, since I have everything pretty much cooked in here, I'm gonna turn the heat down to a medium low. And I started off with a medium high heat when I was actually making the um, spam in there and browning the spam up. I think Patches is getting very excited that we're making fried rice. He, uh, the dogs really like frozen peas and carrots, so when I was get prepping for this meal, they were all over me. They wanted their frozen peas and carrots. In fact, during the summer, I tend to use little ice cube trays, and I will freeze peas and carrots in chicken broth in ice cube trays and give it to the dogs um, when it's warm out. They love it. All right, so this is all incorporated together. I'm going to go ahead and add my egg first. So the egg's been fried up by my sous chef. And I'm gonna put that in there and I'm gonna break it up a little bit and get it all spread out in there. Incorporate that in. It really does smell amazing right now. And it looks like fried rice. That's good, right guys? All right, so I got my egg all incorporated in there. And now I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of sesame oil. Um, you can ask my sous chef. I don't tend to get the measuring spoons out, but if you need to, please do. Um, sometimes I like a little bit more sesame oil in my stuff. I like to taste it. So you kind of need to do what's best for you and how your palate is. So I'm going to put about a tablespoon in. And I'll probably add a little bit more after I taste, because I usually do. And that's going to kind of bring the flavor of the pork and stuff out, that sesame oil. 
now I can really smell it since it's heat it's hit the heat it tastes it smells really really good okay so now I'm also gonna put in my um, rice wine vinegar this is about um, a tablespoon and then also a couple tablespoons of soy sauce and like I said you don't actually have to add salt um, if you like to put soy sauce on your fried rice anyway you won't need to add more salt I'm gonna get all this mixed up in here Sean could you hand me a spoon so I'm gonna taste it before I actually put the green onions in and see if I need a little bit. Sometimes I feel like I need more oil in it, so let's see. Yeah, I think it needs a little bit more oil. It's pretty good though. And I want to make sure that um, I remind you I did turn the heat down so it, nothing's burning on the um, bottom of the pan. All right, so now I'm going to put in the green onions. So I have like um, about eight green onions um, in here. It's just the green tops. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix that in. Um, I really like green onions because they're not um, nearly as strong as regular onions. And we cook the other onion down. So this kind of first, it gives it um, some nice color, but it also gives it a little bit of a crunch. So I'm just going to get this all mixed in here. And I am done. So make sure you taste it. Make sure that you have you feel you have the right balance. If you need a little bit more sweet, put some of that rice vinegar in. If you need a little more salty, you can put some of the soy sauce in. If you feel like um, you're not getting enough of the oil, um, the sesame flavor, you can add just a little bit more of that in. I'd add about a teaspoon at a time so you don't overdo it. And just keep mixing stuff up and keep tasting it. And you'll get an idea of how much you need and how much you and your family like. So we will do some editing when we post this on um, cookingwithdanielle.com and you'll get some pot shots and um, we'll talk about some of the different doodads that we use in here. So let me know if you guys have any questions and I will see you guys next time. Bye.